What's up guys? Hi guys! Today, Kevin and Jules from POP TV are going to be testing these weird, wacky, and cool science toys. We're saving the best for last. These are going to be really awesome, so let's get started. The first thing we found are these weird tubes with colorful liquids inside. It's very carefully wrapped, and it looks like this one is red. But so far, these look like some squiggly tubes filled with these chemicals. But watch, something really cool is going to happen. So I'm going to put the tube right on my hand, and I'm going to cup it. And look, it's boiling up at the top, as if it's trying to run away from my hand. Isn't that cool? It's like magic. Touching the liquid at the top will make it go back down into the bottom bowl. It goes faster so, down than it does up. Yeah. While we're demonstrating this trick again, I'm going to explain how it works. The heat from my hand causes the air from the bottom bulb to expand, making the liquids go up. When the liquid reaches the top bubble, the air is still expanding and it makes it look like it's boiling. See those air bubbles? It goes up and makes it look like it's boiling. In reality, this liquid isn't even hot. The funny thing is, if you flip this upside down, the liquid doesn't even go down the tube. I think this science toy, gadget, whatever you want to call it, rocks! Next item we found is a woodpecker. It's pretty cool. It's not really a science toy, but we just thought it was really cool. The way this toy works is you push him all the way up, let go, and gently push his head. Then he starts pecking. See? You could do this over and over and over and over as much as you like. It might not be much of a science gadget, but it definitely is an awesome time waster. It's time to spin science into art with this viewer's disc. According to the box, you won't believe your eyes or ears as the disc spins faster and louder. The package comes with a mirror, the disc, which is really heavy actually, and a few magnets. There's tiny ones too. One side of the Ewer's disc has a flat edge and the other side has a rounded edge. You're going to put the magnet on the flat edge. Pick any magnet you want. I choose this one because it looks cool. Let's move the others out of the way and watch the magic happen. So you take your mirror, you put the Ewer's disc like this, and you spin it. Here goes nothing. What? That looks awesome! How long will it spin? The package says it can spin up to three minutes. The way this works is similar to a spin top. It uses angular momentum to keep itself upright. The disc is balanced by two forces, gravity and the mirror. Gravity is pulling the disc down and the force of the mirror is pushing the disc up. If it wasn't for friction and vibration, the disc would spin for a really long time, or maybe even forever. Look at the top. Now that we're done with this science toy, we're going to show you our favorite one. We're going to turn our bodies into human conductors of electricity. And we're going to do it with this toy that's called Energy Stick. This toy is for ages 4 and up and it's supposed to be completely safe for you. First I'm going to place my two fingers on the end of the energy stick. And then I'm going to hold hands with Jules. And I'm going to put my other two fingers on the other end. We become conductors of electricity. The circuit goes all the way through our bodies and all the way on the other end. And watch what happens when we unlock our arms. easiest way to trigger the circuit is to hold it with both ends. Then it travels all the way through my body. The stick only starts to work if the two ends are connected by something that allows electrons to go through it. Yes, it's so sensitive that it could detect the, even the tiniest electrons through the moisture of your skin. I'm going to sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jules. Happy birthday to you. Done. Okay.
Okay guys, that's it for this video. We got a lot more science toys to review in one of our next videos. Please let us know which of these toys was your favorite. My favorite was the energy stick. Mine too, but I also like the disc. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Bye guys. Bye.